So, um, really for a long time now, uh, Rosetta Stone's been committed uh, to helping uh, different uh, groups uh, save their languages from extinction. I don't know if uh, you guys are aware, but uh, there are actually uh, more, you know, a, a greater percentage of the languages that are around today will go extinct than any plants or animals in the next 30 years. It's a, it's a catastrophic situation. And we, as a, a language learning technology company, um, have a unique position in that we are able to teach, not just practice, but teach with our software a new language from scratch. And so we're working with several groups. Um, indeed, we've uh, already released several products. So, for example, the Mohawks uh, came to us, and um, they had um, gone through uh, quite a lot of trauma, actually culturally, um, as a um, as a nation. And um, there was a uh, a sense that if they didn't act now, their language would go extinct. Um, and so uh, we worked with them and created a Rosetta Stone uh, product uh, that teaches Mohawk. Most recently, we've actually engaged with um, a group called the Siti Macha, and that group um, is in uh, the western, southwestern United States, and their language has actually already died. There are no speakers of uh, this language uh, alive today, but there are lots of recordings and there's lots of expertise about how it was spoken. And so uh, we have a very ambitious program with them that we're doing uh, pro bono as a company. Um, there's some commitment fee from them, but it's really uh, nominal. We, we do this as, as a, we do two languages a year as part of our sort of giving back program. And we're going to try to revive that language. There are thousands of uh, descendants uh, of this nation uh, here in the United States, and they're all very interested in their language being revitalized because many uh, people feel, and, and um, I, I think that there's a great deal of truth to this, that your culture really lives through your language. 